Today, we are finally going to talk about the Starkey Edge AI. So this is exciting. First of all, the name. Mm. Could they have chosen a better name? When you think of cutting edge, hearing devices, I think Starkey nailed it. They said, our hearing aid's called the edge. And it just speaks to, I'm cutting edge. Cutting you, do, edge. you don't get more current than me. Hey, and it, it also has that AI in there. Mm. Edge AI. AI. I love it. That's the buzzword in hearing aids these days is AI. And we had a few comments on our page. We apologize to those of you that have been excited to hear about the Starkey Edge AI and, and, and we haven't talked about it. We finally got our hands on some Starkey Edge AI devices. We finally got some good training. Mm -hmm. We finally got some good information. We're ready to talk Worth Starkey. the wait. Worth the wait. I'm mm. going to say that. Worth the wait. I mean, first of all, a hearing device with AI, this artificial intelligence built into it is already exciting. Some of the devices, namely Phonak, that have come out with hearing devices that have AI in them, they, they need a little more power. They need a little bit more juice to keep this device running, to, to support it and to make sure it runs efficiently. But these guys figured something out. They're doing a cool thing. So there's kind of two philosophies out there with, with this AI stuff. Starkey's going on full integration. What that means is their artificial intelligence is integrated. It's always on. It's not something like Phonak where it, it kicks it over to an AI program and then it comes back to the, mm -hmm. to the regular program. Different than Resound. Resound has very separate programs. You're in the normal hearing aid mode or you put it in a manual program and go to the AI mode. What Starkey's doing is full integration so the AI is always active. It's always listening. It's always going. I'm looking at the device physically. Mm. I'm pulling it out here. And it's actually about the same size as their normal devices. It's not too wide. It's kind of sleek. I love the rounded um, portion on the bottom or that inferior portion. It, it's going to sit, you know, it sits really nicely on the ear. And so there's a lot of good things going for it ergonomically the way it sits, but also just it's, I mean, it's actually pretty short. Yeah. Right? And it's, it's, got really that, short. it's got the hood that's, you know, removable. You can get in there and do deep cleaning. So I like the design. And let me tell you what I like about short. The small size is good. That short size, when a hearing aid is sitting behind your ear, what you see is how long it is. Yeah. You can't really see how, how thick it is. Or you can't see some of the other right. dimensions. The thing that stands out the most when it's sitting on your ear is how long it is. This is a very short hearing aid. Yeah. I'd say it's probably the shortest of, of all the major that's manufacturers. That's right. In fact, taking it out. The, the current smallest rechargeable device with AI was made by Resound or is made by Resound. And if we pull them out side by side, you know, we're looking at the overall length and they are... Similar. I mean, it is, it is, <laughs> it's hard to tell. Um, Resound's is, is noticeably thinner, so that's, that's interesting. And there's places where Starkey is not as tall, and that's nice too. Yeah. And so these are these are the smallest rechargeable hearing devices you can purchase. Mm -hmm. I'm liking the Edge, yeah. just just for that matter, because edge people AI. want small. People want small. If you show people hearing aids, they're going to gravitate towards the small ones. Phonak, it's been well publicized that they are big. Right. Of all of these AI hearing aids that are out, Phonak's the biggest. Starkey and Resound are definitely the smallest. Mm -hmm. But getting back to this integrated idea, so when they've integrated the AI into the circuit, it does allow them to do longer battery life. I mean, big time longer. They're We're claiming. Going, I mean, we had 30 hours and, and 24 hours from the other competitors. Mm -hmm. Does that compare with the Edge? They're claiming big. Their claim is 51 hours. Almost double. When this hearing aid is brand Almost new. Double. Woo. 51 hours that's is nice, that's though. a crazy that's, nice. that's a crazy claim. Uh, you can go 2 days easy on that. Yeah, and and in fact, yeah. if you were to turn it off when you're done using it at night, let's say yeah. you went 10 hours and you forgot your charger, there's a potential to go 5 days with this. Yeah. You know, without your charger. So, that's a really that's cool big. thing. That's big. Yeah, nearly a week. Yeah, if you're out camping for 4 days and you're Powered powering it off overnight, you're getting a lot of battery life. I would say maybe the drawback is that the AI's maybe not quite as powerful. Some of these AI uh, algorithms that they've created are pretty amazing when you get into background noise it's suppressing things and Starkey's is good. There is no doubt about it. But I think when you integrate the AI it's not quite as powerful when, yeah. when you're in those really noisy places. Yep. And I know they're working on that. Sure. 
But uh, I like the case. I like the rechargeable case. You mm. know, it, it's, it's got the nice. magnet. It's got the magnet. I mean, mm. if you were like, couldn't see well and you're getting close and whoa, whoa, it just sucks grabs it. It. <laughs> it just grabs it right down. So really dummy proof, you know, that's really cool. easy for people like you and I to yeah. use because it's just, just grabs it. So that's, that's really easy. So, I mean, overall Starkey, I mean, people love Starkey hearing devices. There's a reason Starkey is in the top five in the world and they, they just keep coming up with great innovations, great, yeah. great ideas, great looking, really good looking devices, amazing battery life. They're also proud of how uh, resilient they are, how durable Ooh, they are. Waterproof. They've got eight layers, not just one layer, not just two layers. I need all eight. I eight. want all eight. They just keep stacking it. They stack <laughs> these layers and the, it's <laughs> waterproof, it's dust proof. They, they test it not just with distilled water. Most of these companies, when they're testing how waterproof they are, they're just using distilled water. And in real life, we're not exposed to distilled water. Salt water maybe from sweat and that's what Starkey's doing. They're testing them with salt water. They're testing them with more real life materials. Mm -hmm. They are very proud of how durable, how water resistant, how dust resistant these devices are. And they, they're confident they, they'll stack up against any manufacturer in terms of that durability. Well, that's really exciting. We are so proud in our clinic. I know other clinics are probably like ours where we're not really part of a buying group or anything. We enjoy seeing these advancements. We enjoy putting the very best cutting edge, mm. the best edge AI hearing devices on people we can. Um, it's, it's a wonderful thing to be able to see which hearing devices are working the best. And so doing the research, the observations, that's what we're all about here at the Hearing and Balance Doctors. But uh, we hope you come and see us. We hope you come and try the Edge AI. Um, it's something that we're looking forward to. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Okay, everybody, we so appreciate you watching the video today. If you've liked what you've seen, please like it, subscribe to our channel. It means the world to us, but it also means the world to other people who are trying to figure out what's going on with their hearing health. So thank you for watching.